Hey guys, it's Ryder here, and uh, The Flash Season 2, it's on that really annoying, like, weird timed hiatus. You know, when they just decide, hey, it's the middle of February, let's just take a hiatus for a month and come back at the end of March. Well, that's always good, right? Well, yeah, we have a whole month off of Flash and Arrow, although Legend of Tomorrow is still on the air. Uh, it's actually still, it, it's, there's a new episode tonight, so make sure you are subscribed to get my review of that, which should be going up tomorrow, at the latest Saturday. But uh, to have, you know, the Flash gone, you know, the Flash is like part of my scheduled routine. Um, but we know that the ne what the next episode's all about. It's all about a female speedster from the comics known as Trajectory. Now, I'm sure you've seen other videos on her, I'm sure you've gotten a whole backstory on her, uh, but I think that she's actually a lot bigger than a lot of other people are kind of making her out to be. You have uh, this character, and she's kind of, she's a smaller character in the comics, but she's got a very interesting backstory. Like I said, I'm not going to get into it too much, but I think that this definitely says something for, uh, you know, people who don't have speed, number one, it, you know, meaning Jesse Quick and Wally West, and also female speedsters in general. I think this is a sign that we're going to actually see more female speedsters, and I think this is just kind of, trajectory is kind of just the way they're introducing that concept of female speedsters. Um, and I think they're trying to get, you know, the general audience ready uh, for Jesse Quick. Now, when you think of female speedsters in the comics, you usually think of Jesse Quick, if you're a fan of DC Comics. Uh, if you, you know, if you don't think really of uh, Jesse Quick, then you're thinking of Iris West, when she had speed for a little while in the comics. Or maybe you're thinking of Patty Spivet and her speed bike. Now, that's a really cool thing. Patty Spivet, actually, she had some speed force in her, and she had this really cool speed bike that, like, her power would let her, like, use it and can kind of control it. Um, and then you had Trajectory. Uh, trajectory. Uh, so, she's actually a character who's created by Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor, uh, he's like, hey, you know, I have this idea. I'm going to make everybody a super powered person in the world. I'm a good guy now. Uh, you can read all about it. It's a pretty fun Lex Luthor storyline. And uh, he comes out and he's like, hey, you're a random everyday person. You want to be part of this uh, experiment? Here you go. Now you've got superpowers. And Trajectory was one of those people. So a lot of people are wondering, will we see Lex Luthor? Mm, no. We probably won't, and if we did, that'd be awesome, we, but I, I'm only going to expect some Lex Luthor Easter eggs. You know, if they were to maybe name drop Lex Luthor or Luthor Corp, or Luthor, uh, you know, I, I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, but I, I, I wouldn't put my money on it. If anything, I feel like Maxwell Lord from Supergirl would kind of fit that kind of role, but of course, we haven't entered Earth 3 yet, so who knows. Um, but I don't know exactly know how she will have gotten her speed, but expect some kind of program, you know, either from Zoom or just, you know, maybe some, some other ran, ra random scientist is deciding, hey, I want to give people superpowers. So... I think that's what's going to be very fun, is to see maybe now, you know, we had the particle accelerator and it gave all these people powers. Uh, and then, you know, now you're going to, ha maybe you'll have some other kind of scientist, which, you know, who knows who that could be, who's giving people superpowers. Um, so trajectory is, I think, is just the start of this. I'm also hoping that trajectory ends up kind of staying out there as a threat. Um, because I feel like she'd be a great villain for Jesse Quick. Now, I've done a video for Jesse Quick back in, I don't know, early September, late August, kind of just talking about her character when she got confirmed to be part of The Flash Season 2. Now, of course, you guys know that she is from Earth 2. She's Harrison Wells' daughter. Uh, and we currently have Velocity 9 out there. Velocity 9's real. It is a real thing. Uh, and it was used for Jay, and now we, you know, we have the whole thing with Jay and Zoom and the man in the Iron Mask. Um, you know, uh, that's a whole other thing. But Velocity Nine's there, so I'm kind of wondering if Trajectory will do something to Jesse Quick, take Jesse Quick, take Harrison Wells, and Jesse Quick might be the only one who can stop, you know, and save her dad. So 
she might take the Velocity 9 Serum and get super speed, I don't know. Uh, also, I'm kind of wondering where this is going to involve Wally West, because I definitely feel like it will involve Wally West. Uh, and I think everyone kind of just wants to see him become Kid Flash, or at least get some speed. So, I don't know, I think they've got some interesting things on their hands. Uh, but, I, I don't know, I, I'm also kind of wondering if Trajectory could become a good person, like a good guy. Uh, and, you know, my big theory is by the end of the season, like episode 22, the big vinyl battle, you're, you are going to have the Flash standing next to maybe every speedster that we've ever seen before staring at Zoom. And I think that's what's going to be important. Like, I don't know what's going on with Jay Garrick. I don't think anyone knows what's going on with Jay Garrick. If, you know, the real Jay Garrick's dead, if he's an Iron Mask, if he's actually Zoom. But let's just say, hypothetically, Jay Garrick is, you know, real, and he is a good guy, and uh, maybe his brother, Hunter Zolomon, or whatever, his clone Hunter Zolomon's actually, uh, you know, Zoom, or Rival, or who, whatever. You could have Barry standing next to Jay, standing next to Wally with speed, standing next to Jesse Quick with speed, standing next to, yeah, you're gonna hear me say it, maybe even the reverse Flash. And maybe to top that all off, we could get trajectory. So I just, you have to wonder, you know, they have the speed formula now. They have velocity 9. There's obviously some other scientist or some other program that's giving people superpowers. So you have to wonder, how are they going to incorporate this? Um, so I, I am kind of wondering, uh, but this is definitely going to be a factor. Uh, I'm kind of wondering w where they're going with it, but... It's going to have to do something with Velocity 9 and Wally West and Jesse Quick. So, you know, if you're not the biggest fan of Jesse Quick uh, on the show, you know, I'd say that's probably going to change. You know, I really think when she becomes Jesse Quick, when she gets her speed and becomes a hero, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I also think it's going to bring up a whole new set of problems for Harrison Wells. So, you know, I think whatever they do, it's going to be just, it's going to be interesting. So let me know in the comment section your thoughts on trajectory. Uh, you know, who might be giving these new people powers? Will it be Lex Luthor? Will it be somebody like Lex Luthor? I wouldn't hold your breath for Lex Luthor, but it's always fun to theor theorize and just kind of think about it sometimes. Um, you know, I think, I think it's going to be interesting. I do wonder if maybe it could even cross over with, uh, the flat, with, uh, Arrow. You know, if they do something with Arrow, bring a speedster to Arrow, we'll see. Uh, but let me know. So thank you guys so much for watching. And, uh, I'm Ryder, signing off from Toys with Attitude. And keep riding, guys. Bye.